Hey guys, how you doing? So I'm going to share this real quick because I'm going out. But I promise to be here today to talk about this. Now, how do these fake prophets pick up their victims, their female victims? You know, sometimes when some of these girls, they come out, many of us be like, especially me, we'll be like, oh, she, how can a man of God go for such a girl? You know, the girl is not even rich. The girl is not even um, this and that. We say a lot of things. We say stuff like that. These prophets and fake pastors are very, very, very smart. They know exactly what they are doing. They pick victims that don't have um, background, like poor families, nobody to speak for them. Nobody to talk to them. They pick victims who, for instance, try to speak out. Their families can talk. So one of the things that my foundation is going to be doing is to help such victims. We are going to be associated with human rights to be able to speak for these girls so that they'll be able to fight their cause. Because the gospel, one of the things that Jesus did was to help those who could not help themselves. Luke 18 verse 1 says, The woman began to cry out. It said, avenge me of my adversaries. The Bible used an illustration of someone who was a widow, nobody to help. The reason they don't go for people with influence the reason they don't pick girls that have influence, people, the reason they can't pick people like me is simply because, one, at least to some extent we have backbones and being for the fact that we're from a country like this that the law work, so they can't go for people like us, that we have all the tools to fight them no matter how big they are. So I want people to spot this to give insight to young girls and to the audience why they go for vulnerable girls. Girls that are desperate, who are suffering, who don't have money to feed themselves, that are already, you know, trying to survive, doing one thing. So these men, these first pastors, the Bible said it, that they are going to be first prophets and first pastors. All right. So one of the reasons they pick people like that, the reason why I'm sharing, you know, I began to ask God, why did you make me see this? There was a time as at 2020, 2021, I was always waking up in the morning, feeling depressed, telling God it raised my memory because of certain things that I observed. You know, I was one of those people who never believed that a man who is married at all being a clergy could ever assault young girls. I was that person. I was that girl. If you followed me for years, you will know that I'm very outspoken defending pastors. And this is why I use the word fake and false. Not all pastors are fake. Not all pastors are false. There are those who really, because remember, God told us about these things. It's going to happen. We're going to have this bunch of um, people, the devil is always going to try to mingle uh, um, darkness with lights. And what this whole thing is doing is actually to weaken those that are real. Because you start seeing comment like, I don't want to go to church anymore. And some of these victims that reach out to me, they are like, I don't go to church anymore. And it hurt my heart because Jesus is real. God is real. This has nothing to do with none of that. I'm going to be sharing, shedding lights little by little. I'm going to be bringing out the pieces so we have eyes. Because the Bible told us, it said, do not be ignorant of Satan devices. Do not be ignorant of Satan devices. So I want us to understand. That is why most of the people that speak to me, they'll be like, oh, woman of God is a weakness. I said, no, this is not a weakness. This is wickedness this is diabolical and i will explain that on series as we begin to go as we begin to journey
as we begin to go. Do you understand? So I just want to bring this to the audience to clear this out. Most times when the girls that comes out to speak, we begin to weigh the wife of the clergy, of the pastor, or of the prophet, and we'll be like, why would a man leave the wife like this and go for a girl like this? No, it's not true. I have said that so many times. Oh, these girls are just looking for money. These girls are just demons. No, these were vulnerable girls who came into the ministry seeking for help because of their family problems, because of the pain they are going through. They came, they just wanted help. So the men of God, the first men of God take advantage and they always ask them about their, they always try to weigh their family background. Can I mess with this one? If I try to mess with this one, will anybody be able to speak for them? That is why when the girls are trying to find their voice to come out and speak, they arrest their family. They bully their family. They threaten them. And it works like magic. Why? Nobody. They have no money, no influence to believe them. And their followers We oppress them. So I just want to clear this out. I'm going to shed more light on this, on this over and over again. This year, 2022, I know God in his infinite mercy is going to fish them out because God has had enough. This cannot be concealed anymore. We have to start speaking up. If you are a girl, like I told you yesterday, you have any relationship with any man of God anywhere, break it. You are bringing curses on yourself. They are using your glory because they are not supposed to defile the altar and neither are they supposed to defile their bed. I don't care if their wives know or their wives does not know. Take it upon yourself. It is better for you to have integrity as a woman than for you to dive and indulge yourself in this. And when you look at the traits of these girls, they are not able to get married because the rumor has spread around. But I know in the name of Jesus Christ that God is going to bring every victim out of every words that they have caged and found themselves in. And as many that are going through this, if a man of God, as a, a fake man of God, I'll be using a fake man of dog because I don't want to abuse that name of God. We have to be for clarity reasons because they are genuine. I'm a pastor and I have pastors that are under me. I have a brother who is a pastor. He has never cheated on his wife. His ways are legit and stuff like that. So I'm not going to abuse that title. Do you understand? So if you have anyone who is asking you out and stuff like that, leave that church. Do not stay there. Don't back it up. When you try to speak to the elders of the church and they tell you, oh, he's a weakness, oh, he's a lie, they try to bully you, leave that place immediately. You're never going to get blessed in such a place. You might be seeing miracles, seeing crowd. That is why the members of such ministries, they never get testimonies. Outsiders are the one that comes in. And when they come in, when you look at their life, it begins to wear out because what you use charm and diabolic ways to get you can never preserve it. It's not going to stay long. All right. So that being said, I just want to clear that out tomorrow or next week. By the grace of God, when I have the opportunity, I'm going to be bringing things that I'm discovering and how to spot these things. So, guys, God bless you. More blessings on our side. This year, just every girl, every first prophet, you still have the time to repent. Come out, do the right thing, turn your ways to God. All right, guys, I'll see you guys a few hours from now at midnight, uh, midnight prayers. So God bless you and bye-bye.